Um, Steve Jobs started off with $1,500 to his name. He sold his van, and him and two friends had a little bit of money that they put into making Apple. Today, Apple's worth about $6.57 billion to him, like with his stocks and stuff. And basically, the only way he was able to get there is with a lot of hard work and determination. He didn't get things handed to him. Uh, he basically had to work as hard as he could. That's where I come in. A few years ago, um, my dad got a letter in the mail from a couple whose husband had passed away. They owned 60 acres of land that my dad had looked at to buy. So my dad, of course, being him wanting land, bought it. Well, we wanted to build a house on top of the land, so we kind of went with the money and waited a little bit to sell our house. And finally, we were just about to sell our house to close, and the neighbors behind us said they were selling their house. Well, they had 18 acres of land, and that land actually land, well, it goes straight up with our 60 acres of land. So my dad says, let's connect it. He went ahead and bought their land, 18 acres and 60 acres together. Well, the only thing was, they already had a house on it, and we wanted to build a house, but he liked their house, even though it was filled with smoke and cats and dogs and <laughs> lovely animals. And uh, I was like, this is the worst house you could find. Thanks. Are we going to burn it? All this stuff. And he says, no, it's got potential. Um, so we ended up gutting the whole house inside and out. Had a huge pile bigger than the house, basically, sitting out there that we ended up burning, but we kept the main studs and stuff. And we remodeled the whole inside and um, like new walls and furniture and everything. And we actually ended up, the staircase was really like flat and uh, you could hit your head on it if you went down it. So we ended up putting a spiral staircase from the loft to the main floor down to the basement. Uh, my dad says he's going to end up one day soon actually. They're going to build on to the house to make it just bigger, just some dining room and stuff. And um, oh, I just lost my he's, Okay, so he's going to build on the house, and um, we're going to end up just living there for now. Uh, so basically, what my moral of the story was is you got to work for stuff you want. You don't just get things handed to you in life. If you want something bad enough, you got to go out and get it. Um, life doesn't just hand you lemons to make lemonade. you got to actually go pick those lemons sometime if you want some goddamn lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so next time you're on your iPhone, think, this guy didn't just have a billion dollars to start this company. He had to work for it hard enough to make you your iPhone.